Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Vralin Dwarf Wars. This is a game on Kickstarter right now that's uh, kind of a hack and slash RPG, sort of uh, got a Diablo feel to it, but not so dark and evil. It's a little more fantasy dwarf sort of thing. This is me. I am this guy. This is someone to talk to. Hello, dear friend. I am poor. The goblins took all away from us, and now I don't know if I can survive the next couple of days. Please, go through the door in front of you and beat some of those guys. Alright, I can do that. So this is a, like I, I was saying, I think this is an alpha sort of tech demo of this game. It's not, doesn't have nearly all the features, but kind of the base idea. But I like the look of it already. They've got really nice detail in like the floor and the fires and the smoke and like it's a nice this um this bar down here is a cool illustration my dude has a great beard let's play single player mode it's really even though it's not you know it's still really early in development there's a, it's got a lot of nice detail to it which is really cool cuz they specifically said i assume if i click him i hit him with a hammer yeah they specifically said that they're going for a really detailed like, they want, they want really rich... Oh, I died, because I was talking and not fighting. <laughs> so the other thing... <laughs> revive. You're dead. Let me click you're dead. What happens? Nothing. Revive. All right. So let me play, actually. Um, they're going for a really rich, detailed look. Like, kind of, you know, really high-quality sort of graphics. And also, a uh, difficulty. They want this game to be hard. It's not your run around, click everybody, oh, you're invincible type of RPG. It's, um, it's gonna be a lot harder, which is cool, because I know that people are into that. Uh, there's no loot right now. That's uh, the next thing that they have to add. Um, and I know that's an important part of hack and slash RPGs, but, you know, you're getting there. Um, <laughs> for the, for the demo build, we've got drink some beer to revive five health. Unlimited beer with the best regards from Ogredonics Limited, who are the developers of this game. Let me have some beer. Yeah, delicious. This not floor tile on the ground is really nice. All right, we got two ways to go. Let's go left. We've got some walls revealing themselves here, I guess. That's cool. All right, goblin. Goblin. Goblin, get hit in the face. Oh, two goblins. Oh boy. All right. Now this is, we're getting to the point where I'm saying, I don't know if I, uh, if I died before and I wasn't paying attention, who knows what's gonna happen now. I see that I may be at level two or something. I'm definitely stronger. I'm killing them quicker now. Um, let me have some unlimited beer here. I'm assuming in the top right that this is going to be like magic points, because that's typical health magic. I like that they put them somewhere other than here, where all the Diablo clones do it. Got your health and your magic on the left and the right. Oh, my other abilities don't exist yet, but, or maybe I have to unlock them. Hammer bolt. Oh, needed level three. I can get that probably real quick. Come on, die. Die, goblin. Can I get level three? Oh, here's my experience. Okay. Level three, smash the hammer right into the face. That's amazing. Uh, ground shaker, smash the hammer on the ground. Area will be area effect in the upcoming build. Okay, cool. Can I go around this? No, this is this is blocked off. Okay, uh, and then horn, receive a damage buff. That's level eight, so that's quite a ways off still. I wonder if I can get that far in this demo. I don't know how much dungeon there is for me to explore. I've only gone this far just to learn how to play. I haven't explored the rest of it yet. I hope I can get all the way up to level 8. Because I want to try out all the attacks. You know? That is the point of these kind of games, is attacking, so... Oh, no. oh crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, man. Oh, we killed each other at the same time! Nice death animation. Revive. Am I still level 3? Nice. That's good. This is a demo. Don't make me do everything again. I appreciate it. Let me just run on back to where I was, though. 
Oh, actually, these guys revived. I stayed at level three, I think, but they rev or maybe not. Maybe it started over. Cause he's yeah, it started over. Okay. Oh, and I died again. All right, let me let me not screw around, and I'll get back to to where I was before. All right, here we are, about to hit level three. You really gotta take your time and and. Uh, Level 3 Hammer Bolt. Smash the hammer right in the face of your enemy. Has to be in range. That is delightful. Um, go to level 2. Oh. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to exit. Cancel? Cancel. I want to I wanna go back. There's another hallway down there. So, you definitely need to be careful and, and sit back and, and really uh, drink your beer and keep healthy. Because it is dangerous out there in this game. Like, really, really dangerous. I died, like, three or four times trying to get back to where I started. Or where I got the first time. And it wasn't even close. Alright, give me a... Give me a... Yeah! Hammer in the face! Let me do that again. Let me, can I have another goblin to hammer in the face? There it is. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Um, the unlimited beer really helps. I just want to take a moment to zoom in, which I just learned I could do just now by accident, and watch the drinking beer animation. He pops the cork off, he takes a swig, he throws it back. It's such a good, it's so nice. The animation is so nice. I'm going to have to zoom in on more stuff. Like I said, this game is about detail. You know, they really want it to be detail focused. And I want to make sure that I show that. Okay, that's the end of this hallway. So let me zoom in and walk back to where I came from. Um, and see if I can find... See if, if there's, like, these bricks. And the the cup and the rope and the skeletons. And little, little dwarven skeletons because they're so little. It's really, really well done. I'm really excited about that. That kind of polish is my favorite thing about a game and to see a game in like early early prototype phase i mean they don't have most of their features in this game other other than they hitting goblins in the face with a hammer this is pretty pretty incomplete and they're already putting that kind of polish in there the the dudes sitting on the sitting around the bricks laying on the ground like that kind of stuff whoa Whoa. Alright. We got some stuff here. Uh, let's kill you. How's that sound? You, you sound like you should be dead, but you're not. You must be tougher than the other guys, because you're in the second floor. Did I die? Oh my god. Revive. Oh man, I gotta go back again. Oof. Alright, we're back in this thing. Let's go maybe down this time. Fight to not that real tough guy. Let's fight this guy, who's probably the same level of real tough guy. We gotta use our all of our skills. Our There we go, okay. Whew. That was rough. Now look at this. Like there's wall carvings, there's more skeletons, there's more dudes in the catacombs. There's so much detail already in this game. It's so nice. Um, I feel like I gotta be healed all the way up to take on these guys, and there, there's a bunch of them. I gotta try to aggro them one at a time, which worked for the, the last one, at least. What is that? It's gross. gonna mash the the two button because uh, the yeah just like I'm gonna hit him as much as I can it doesn't penalize you for that so why wouldn't I you know let me see if there's anything in here that I can see there's a guy that I can fight that's the idea all right hit him with all this hit him with all the things Oof. man all right, these two guys alone over here are gonna be tough. Um, oh crap, hi. 
Oh, crap. Where did you come from? Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. No, don't go back to market. What am I clicking on that's telling me that? Oh, well. Alright, I died. I died. That's it. <laughs> as far as I can get. Unfortunately. Um, now, were there loot I could upgrade and stuff, which they're adding soon? That's, you know, that'll be a different story, but that's, all, that's as far as I can get for now. Unfortunately. Um, but, you're dead. Uh, I mean, you can see the idea. We've got ourselves a hack and slash RPG. We've got ourselves a lot of art effort, like so much art that they're already doing, which is amazing. Um, and the ambition of being a super hard game, which I see that they have already taken very seriously, <laughs> um, which is good because people like a challenge, especially RPG gamers. RPGs are always crazy. Um, so that's Rollin Dwarf Wars. Um, you know, if you're interested in this kind of thing, check it out. It's fun. I mean, I keep trying because it's fun. I'm not, I'm not like torturing myself by going, by trying to keep surviving this thing. It's fun. And I keep screwing up, you know, like not healing up all the way or whatever. It's definitely doable. So anyway, if you think this looks fun, check it out back on my Kickstarter. Uh, make, you know, make awesome games happen. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.